What's up, people? Today we will be doing some VOD reviews for Ultimate Fighting Arena Dragon Ball Fighting Tour Top 8. What did I just say? Fighters Tour Top 8. But yeah, I wasn't able to watch much of this because I was at a family reunion, got a chance to, you know, refresh, think about some things a bit. But now I'm back, ready to watch some Dragon Ball. So, right now, the match we're going to watch is Hook Gang God vs. Nakio. Uh, Nakio is using his newer team of Gotenks, Gohan, and Goku, and Hook, as he was searching around for a team to play for a bit, but it seems like right now he's settled on the team of Cell, Piccolo, and Vegeta. But I don't know how long he's going to keep this team. I don't think for that long, concerning what happened at Grand Finals, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Let's meet this. So... The thing about Nakio's team is his team is kind of weirdly based around base Goku and the fact that he wanted the most optimal team for base Goku, I believe. So he picked a team where he could combo into Spirit Bomb. Now his team has some cool touch of death. It has touch of death with and without sparking. Um, it's a team that just blows you up, period. It has a lot of mix-up options, especially... Well, mainly with, uh, well, Gotenks just has built-in mix-ups, especially with base Goku assist, because that keeps you in block stun for so long. And then, Adult Gohan and Gotenks with Donut, your, uh, your Snap-in Oki with Donut, and then Side Switch with Gohan, where, because you Donut them while they're in the air, they'll just teleport or they'll just drop to the ground very quickly. And depending on which side you're on, like, it's basically a annoying 50-50 to block. So, yeah. Dakio's team explodes you if they touch you. And they have crazy mix-up potential. And then, I don't know. Hook's team is just super solid all around. I feel like it has... It doesn't have insane mix-up potential. But... All of the characters are pretty good at mixing. All characters do a good amount of damage. And there's good synergy on his team. So let's see how this goes. Both backdash to play neutral. Hook already loses say, an assist. And that's what I was talking about before. With the built-in go tanks 50-50. Especially with the... Uh, especially with the amount of hit stun that base Goku... Or block stun that base Goku puts you in. Fifty fifty. Now he has to be careful after this. Now he everything resets. Actually, everything was mostly in Hook's favor there because Hook had both of his assists. I think the only assist up for Nakio maybe was a uh, Gohan. Nice reflect into tag. Hook must have tried to poke out a little bit. Nah. Oof, that's damage. You see, look at this. Not even from a smash. Just putting all sorts of blue health on cell there. Go for the heart knockdown, I agree. I actually wanted to play a Piccolo team. But Piccolo is super different. Probably the most different out of all of the nice change, out of all of the uh characters in the game. Eh, actually I don't know. But he's just super different. Neutral in this game has been pretty slow so far, I have to say. Nakio didn't react to the overhead. This is done possibly. Nah, he has to use bar. So now, if I'm Nakio, I might try to get yep, Goku out of there. 
we get him Piccolo. You want to deal with the Piccolo as fast as possible. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I understand why he did it. See, but this puts Nakia in an interesting situation, though. Because you want... He wanted, I guess, Goku to have as much health as possible. But you put Gohan in there in a scary situation. Where he already has, like, 60% of his health left. And the person has enough bar to finish him. That was interesting. I don't know what Nakia was trying to... Catch there. Nakio kept using 2S, but I'm not sure what he was trying to catch. Or maybe he was trying to get condition hook into something, being afraid of the uh, overhead. This is pretty good for. Oh, especially since he dropped that, it was pretty good for a hook. Wow, nice 2H. Mm. And that's death. And here comes the hook. I stole that from hook. I don't think this is death yet, though. Oh, what do I know? But, yeah. Nakio forced... I mean, Hook forced Nakio to use Sparking a little bit earlier than he wanted to with that character. So then after that, most of that Sparking was going to be used to survive, and he was going to have to play the rest of that match, honestly. Then he just got killed with Sparking on, so it didn't really even matter. And just now... See, this is why Vegeta Assist is still very good. It's not an oppressive gate anymore. Excuse my rewinding. But now it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like a, like a net or something like that, where you can just catch people into it if they make a mistake. I think he was trying to shout cancel there too, or he was getting ready to ooh, drop the combo. Wants to get Gotenks out of there, but Gotenks is coming right back in. I didn't think it mattered enough, but I guess you want to get rid of Gotenks assist. I didn't think that the health was low enough to warrant. I wonder if he's doing the uh the option selector. I doubt it. It doesn't seem like Nakio is 100% comfortable with how he wants to play base Goku in a neutral yet. Nice change. Not a not nice change, actually. And now he's going to have to take an even more annoying... Oh my god. I don't know why I said nice change. I think I wanted to say... I think I wanted to say... Uh, Nice pressure from Hook. Because I didn't think that was a good change at all. And I ended up saying, and you're back in? Ah, oh, this is just annoying. This is oppression. Oh my god, he hasn't blocked yet. Uh, Piccolo probably has the best snapping Okies in the game. I don't know who would be better than him, or even rival him. But uh, I think, so I was liking the pressure from Hook. And then Nakio just tried to tag out of it. And there's no way he could he was gonna get out of that pressure though. Like Piccolo just keeps you jailed in a corner for some time. Ah. Uh, ooh, nice two H. It's time to jail you some more. Oh no, you're just gonna die. Never mind. I mean that's permanent jailing, I guess. Nice shout. Uh, Nakia might have to spark immediately. If he gets touched, he might be dead. Actually, if he gets touched, he's guaranteed dead. Yep, he's dead.
Whoa, GG. Good job from Hook. Um, I don't know. Naruto just couldn't deal with Hook's movement in neutral. He couldn't deal with Piccolo incoming Oki. He couldn't deal with anything. He just was getting clobbered that whole match. Also, it didn't seem like Nakio was very comfortable. Especially since, so, Gohan and Gotenks just got murdered very quickly on in the... Well, no, 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 no. So, Gohan and Gotenks in the first match, Gotenks got mur murdered early on. And then he put Gohan in a bad situation. So, Gohan came in. Lost neutral, got put in disadvantage, and then died from being in disadvantage. And then it didn't seem like he, uh, Nakio was ever comfortable enough with Goku, the base Goku in the neutral, to do anything. Now, if base Goku gets you in disadvantage, or he gets you blocking, then he has a lot of things that he can do. But it didn't seem like Nakio was even able to either make Hook block a lot of that, or have Hook respect a lot of his pressure. So, yeah. Good job on Hook, bro. Maybe a, a, a couple of more times playing with that team. I mean, Nakio made it to top eight, so it's not like he did poorly. But maybe as he gets more comfortable, he can make it even higher in the top eight. Maybe win some tournaments, uh, some of the tour tournaments. But maybe he might also have to think of a change for base Goku because it doesn't really seem like he's super ultra comfortable playing that team. Hook, on the other hand, is playing a team that he's been playing since almost the beginning of the game. So, yeah, he knows exactly how he wants to play, exactly what he wants to do, exactly where he wants to be, how he wants to punish. So, good job on Hook. And that's pretty much it for that. Uh, I'll have another match, probably Goichi versus uh, Ife, I believe. Another match. But yeah, for now, that's the end of this video. It's King Devil 7 signing off. Peace.